Welcome to another Demarcation Media haul video. It's been so long since I did a proper haul video, I almost just said this was a review. We actually have a handful of things here. These are all packages and stuff that arrive generally around the same time. So we're just gonna go ahead, dive in and look at them one by one. First up, we have a sad, neglected Spartan Collection Linda. I found this at a discount store for seven bucks. Honestly, this was actually months ago and she's just been sitting on my desk or my work area as I've been trying to figure out what to do with her. So you guys can let me know, do you want me to keep this as like maybe a giveaway prize or do you want to see a review? I don't know, I'm up for either. Um, box is a little dinged up, but you can see the back. That's a terrible picture because it doesn't show her metallic visor. That's like the coolest thing about the figure. She's just been sitting here and I was like, you know what? Might as well give her a little bit of attention because poor Linda just gets left out all the time. Continuing the action figure theme, we have two Joy Toy Warhammer Cadians. These were sent to me by Calcus Toys. I'm gonna be working with them to bring you guys some more uh, Warhammer reviews. So if you want any Warhammer figures, go check out their website. I'll put the link in the description. We have the Cadian uh with the power fist and then this guy is pretty cool because he's actually got the cadian flag so there will be reviews um primarily for this guy but i might also give this guy a look a little closer as well so stay tuned for that these dudes are really interesting to me because they look like halo marines but if they were in the 40k universe which is pretty cool to me in my quest to review older mega sets, I have managed to obtain a sealed Victor Squad. Looks pretty good. Although that box art, the rendering looks very devoid of detail. But that's pretty cool around the back. Tons of weapons. I just, I wish they did sets like this still. And then in addition to that, I also obtained a sealed Oni Strike Team. Um, Actually, some of you or most of you probably will have seen this already, but if you haven't, I'll link it up in the corner. I did a stop motion featuring one of these guys. Kind of the inspiration for the stop motion in part was getting this set. So yeah, it, I'm excited for this because we don't often get like Spec Ops Marines. It's a very, very hard to get set now though. Had to pay a lot more than I would have wanted, but there we go. The Marines will get some attention and not just Spartans because there was a lot of the Spartan fire teams. The Marine ones were a little bit more limited, but both of these are pretty darn cool. It is funny though. You can see Mega went from this box layout to the tall box layout, which made sense because this takes up a bunch of shelf space, whereas you can cram way more in if they're upright like that. I don't know. Just kind of a funny change to me. So in all honesty, this box right here was the real reason why I'm making this video in the first place. It had nothing to do with the fact that I had a bunch of packages at once. I just realized after the fact, oh, hey, I have a bunch of packages. Let's let's look at, you know, a bunch of things at once. Um, this comes from iSinner on Discord, although I hate mentioning Discord names because they change so much. Also, that's a very interesting name. I guess it's kind of apt, as we all are, but let's go ahead and cut this open this is something i saw on the marketplace for squad 45 the server that i admin for and i was like oh wow that actually looks really useful let me uh just snag that so first of all holy crap that is <laughs> That is a lot of weapons. That's a lot of weapons. And then, that's a lot of figures. That's a lot of figures. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and take a closer look. Alrighty, let's pop this open. So there's a bunch of customized pieces in here. He told me that before I bought this. So some of them might just be cleaned up and kind of not used as customs. There's also a bunch of these like flood customs, which I'm not sure what they're made out of. That's rather hard material. It's a very uh, stout little flood. 
a flood drone is that even possible i don't even think that was possible got that a partially customized jackal um an elite a normal elite this is a blind bag elite so we're gonna set him over here uh bronze armor grunt who is falling apart oh i see he's in here because he didn't his arm doesn't stay on well luckily we can fix that uh we got a grunt imperial who has a little bit of paint splatters on him there's a marine interesting he's got like four arms there we're gonna kind of sort these a little bit there's another grunt this guy's dirtied up a little bit but he is mostly complete oh a uh, storm covenant miner interesting this guy will go over here oh hey look it's one of the ultra rares from universe series uh two i keep getting two and three mixed up there's a red miner he's just missing some hands so we're gonna put that over there we have gold atriox oh look at this we have one of the brutes from the mongoose outriders with a strap from one of the halo 2 brutes uh we have two mongoose outriders brutes a prophet of regret but he's got no hands okay another completed elite another little stout flood um another one oh hey look the chest plate from the uh garrison pack brute a busted up and bloodied marine armor oh old articulation flood brute well old articulation flood brute custom more flood there's all these figures with this white paint i don't really know what that's about grunt flood grunt um some teal brutes that look like they were never finished oh hey is this the grunt goblin grunt yo i'll take another one of those oh Ugh. 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 we're gonna put that aside oh look at that another mongoose outriders brute so that's up to three now uh a grunt imperial i can barely see from my angle just so you guys know uh oh somebody took victor's arms off that's bad yeah as i'm lifting these things up you guys are seeing just as much as i am wait what the heck it's arbiter but he's got brute hands that's a little weird um there's another marine he's missing a shoulder and hands maybe we can do something about that oh there's another arbiter <laughs> how many gold arbiters are in here oh another atriox as well um the whoa trimmed why was it trimmed this is the garrison pack elite but he's got normal hands and he was customized a bit let's put that over there what the heck is this a stay puffed marshmallow man this looks rather strange <laughs> that's very odd uh what else we got oh we got the new version of gek even though he just kind of looks like an elite miner a normal elite miner so that's cool uh oh look at that we've got a hornet pilot although he looks like let me look at him up close yeah it looks like his visor was painted that's not his original color uh what else we got another minor wow he's a bit loose and he's a bit pink i wonder why but he's mostly complete so we're gonna put him over there uh there's another elite nice so that's up to three of those guys i think uh another mongoose outriders brute although this dude has different forearms another flood bit of a customized elite there's lots of like customized bits here and then we got bits of the purple brute this metallic blue paint is very interesting yeah wow there's a lot of a lot of very oh gosh grunt pieces lots of severed limbs oh hey look it's the uh it's one of the halo universe series one guys he's just missing his strap which one of those brutes has so he's pretty much complete got some paint is that actually that's really good actually yeah lots of lots of pieces oh 
Hang on a second. Oh, that's another grunt. There's a marine shoulder. Oh, we got another marine. Again, no hands, but we might be able to fix that. Pop this on. You can see all of it up a little closer here. It's also a bit of the gold brute chieftain. <laughs> if you go all the way to the edge of the studio here, lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. Let me put some of this aside and then we'll look at the uh, weapons. There we go. Here's the bag of weapons. Also, I realized this dude is not a Mongoose Outriders brute. This is the blue brute from, I think it's the Gungoose Rampage. You can see the difference. I didn't realize that at first. That's why he's got the fuzzy forearms. But let's see here. It looks like there's some custom painted weapons in here. A couple of them, this one actually caught my eye first. Look at that. That's actually not half bad. But let's just go ahead and dump it all out. Holy moly, there's also a lot of like brick arms grenades maybe. So what do we got in here? There's a Ravager. Awesome. One, two, three spankers. No, four spankers. Wow, there's a lot of rocket launchers here. A lot of, holy crap. There's enough artillery in here, or explosives maybe I should say, to end the banished in one blow. A uh, silver painted sniper, old splazers, more rocket launchers. So many snipers, uh, <laughs> a blue rocket launcher. Whoa, wait, this is a translucent one? That's strange. Um, sawn off sniper rifle, all these little grenades. Uh, yeah, I think those are brick arms grenades. Splazer, shotgun, uh, holy moly. There's another splazer. Wow, there's some backpacks, some brick arms stuff. Oh look, a fuel rod cannon. That's a nice little find. Oh, excuse me, there's two. This one's customized. Uh, oh, look at this old brute shot with the like handle. A nut. Why is there a grenade stuck in there? Somebody rigged this to explode. Got a storm rifle, customized a bit. A lot of these look like customs that were started and never finished. It's a painted backpack. Uh, my. Oh, yo, what is this? <laughs> Wait, why is there? Okay, interesting. That tack pad, that's interesting. Is that the from the marine pack? I do not remember. There's a grab hammer, Aatrox's chain bonker, more. There's lots of splazers. What, what the heck? So many, so many. There's some SMGs too. <clears throat> a handful of shock rifles, but surprisingly, there's more spankers than there are shock rifles. Oh look, a customized, uh, sidekick back before mega started doing their own this is made with green stuff i think so i'm curious does, how well does green stuff stick like can i just pop this off feels pretty solid to me pretty darn solid there's lots of grenades wow oh look at this yo that's cool it's one of the teenage mutant ninja turtle knives Honestly, I could probably just sit here and poke through this for a while yet. Oh! <coughs> Energy sword. Also, translucent green grenade launcher. I believe that comes with a Hazop Spartan. That's pretty rare, I'm pretty pretty sure. Last I knew. We also have a uh, translucent magnum. That comes from Captain Cutter. A snapped off uh, SMG. I've heard a lot of you guys saying this has happened to you. I've never seen this happen. Um, this is the first one I've ever seen with a snap end. Uh, this is a painted beam rifle, but it kind of looks well done. Yeah, look at that. So many, so many different things. Yeah, there's a bunch of this white stuff. I don't really know what that is. Yeah, it like comes off. I bet you I can just wash that off. Wow, that is a lot of pieces. Well, there you have it. That is the whole haul. Like I said, this was a bit unplanned. I mainly wanted to just look at this package, which is absolutely just full of 
all kinds of stuff. I primarily got it for the parts, but there was a lot of complete figures too that I was pretty happy about. Those blue brutes are pretty awesome. Um, Mega sets, really looking forward to looking at those. Linda, again, not sure what I'm gonna do with her, so comment down below if you have any ideas. And then the Cadians are pretty awesome. And again, if you're looking for any Joy Toy stuff, go to calcustoys.com. So yeah, there you have it. Uh, keep your eyes out for separate videos on all these things, you know, minus Linda and possibly some customizing videos because these give me a lot of pieces and I am thinking of ways to use them. So stay tuned for that. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing and I'll see you next time.